Steve K. Showing, saying, and playing what I want, because this is how we do it. This next video I'm going to be doing is a game, which is a PlayStation game, as you just saw a moment ago. Something I'm going to be doing a new run of, hopefully. Millionaire, third edition. Yep, it's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the third edition, once again, for PlayStation. I did have a run of this game going, so I figured I'd start a new run. Okay, how many players do we keep? Thanks. Hey, how about giving me your name? Thanks a lot. Now we can get started. All right. If I can win a million dollars. Check out your first question. First question is always for a hundred dollars. Hopefully we can get up the chain and get to a million. I'll try the best I can. This is not a sports edition, as you know. Here we go. A person who speaks. Without much so, it's often said to shoot from the what? Nose, foul line, shoulder, hip. I think I know one of the, um, I have one answer in mind, but I'm going to ask the audience. Let's see what the audience thinks. Hmm. 86% says hip. 8% for nose and 4% for shoulder. I'll go with the audience. Hip, final answer. Are you sure that's your final answer? Yep. Final answer. Trusting the numbers. Well, that's fine. You are so right. Thank you, audience. Didn't know that. Well, you're off and running, but that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Let's see if your $200 question is more of a challenge. We'll see. Which of these phrases is used to describe the conclusion of an extremely close race? Snapshot ending, Florida election, film finale, photo finish. I believe there will be a photo finish. You're going to opt for answer D. Fine. And you're right. Yeah. Hey, you've got the $200, but don't stop now. Here's your $300 question. Which of these expressions is likely to be used to compliment someone's stylish new jeans? They're fizzy, they're filbin, they're freaky, they're fat. P-H-A-T. I believe it would be they're fat. D. They're filbin. <laughs> Funny phrase that's they're filming. You're absolutely right. Okay. At three hundred dollars now. You're on your way for five hundred dollars. Here we go. What movie has a song called Super Califragilistic Expialidocious? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, The Nutty Professor, Alice in Wonderland, Mary Poppins. I haven't seen this in a while, and I know for sure it's Mary Poppins. You gotta opt for answer D. Yep. Sorry, Julie Andrews. You are so right. Hey. Okay. Alright, the thousand dollar question's coming up in the first safe haven, a guaranteed first game if I get this. Alright, we're at five hundred dollars, going for one thousand. Take a look. Okay. By definition, the byline of a newspaper article contains what information? Story of the location of the story, date of the story, page number, author's name. I'm going to phone a friend. Let's put it on 
call to Bernie. He's a talent agent in Los Angeles. Knows the business like nobody. Not too sure on this one. <sighs> this better be important. Hi, Bernie. How you doing? Uh, I'm swamped today. I've got four calls on hold, but I always have time for you, Regis. Hey, I've got a tough question. I'm hoping you can help. Sure, Regis. Uh, just one sec. Jamie, hold all calls. Is that? Oh, well, you can put him through. Regis, you'll have to hang on. Okay, take a look at this. I'm in hurry mode, so let's be frank. This isn't an A-list show. It's, well, a D. It's on late night cable, but do you know how many big name actors started out just like this? I mean, no one knows the exact number, but I can tell you, babe, it's a startling percentage. Let's just get on board and see where it takes us, okay? Okay, love you a lot. It's gotta run. Thanks for the opinion. I'll see you later. What? Oh, okay, Regis. But you call me when you're ready to take your career to the next level. Answer D is the choice of my Hollywood agent friend. Not really the answer I was leaning towards, but I'll go with him final. Want to go ahead and make that your final answer? Let's see. Going to agree with my friend? Fine. When you're right, you're right. Okay, I got it. Well, congratulations, you hit the $1,000 mark in our first safe haven. Let's keep it up. Here's your $2,000 question. All right, so I got one lifeline left. <clears throat> Here we go. Which of these early arcade games <clears throat> is designed to be played with only a single controller? Asteroids, Missile Command, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man. <coughs> I've got like a couple answers. I think it could be. I'm gonna say Pac-Man final. You're sure that answer D is the one? Well, okay. It's either that or the other one. It's Pac-Man. All right. I thought it was gonna be Asteroids, but I got it. Okay. You're on a roll. Now let's see how good you are with your $4,000 question. Yep, I'm on a roll with I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> okay, here we go. When referring to internet commerce, the abbreviation B2B means what? Buyer to buyer, business to business, brokerage to brokerage, builder to builder. I think I know this. But I'm gonna use the 50-50. it is. Computer, please eliminate two of the answers, making sure that one of the answers left is correct. Either buyer to buyer or business Hopefully to business. A bit easier for you. I'm gonna say buyer to buyer final. You seem sure answer A won't let you down. Ah, uh, shoot, it's business to business. Here's what you should have picked. No, that's okay. Still walk away with a thousand dollars. That's fine. I knew it was going to be either of those two. Hey, check this out. The highest score of the night. Perhaps you should come back again and play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Third edition. And that'll do it for this first game of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The second edition for, excuse me, the third edition. I'm sorry for PlayStation. And we'll probably do another game after this. So I'll see you all with that game after this.